Hello, Internet! I'm Elliot the Purple Hair Doofus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today, we are finishing the third story in Wizard and Glass. That is chapter 10 of the story, Come Read. I hope you've read that far, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. Hopefully, this finishes the, the backstory of Roland. I really, really want to be done with this backstory. I hope that the next story is everyone sitting around the campfire and waking up to the realization that Roland is finally done talking. So we have Susan, who has been captured, and she is being dragged into the kitchen of the reaping fair and held in a pantry. And then we have Roland, who is looking into the crystal ball, and he sees far into the future. He sees the dark tower in the ball and he sees that the dark tower is going to crumble without him and if he doesn't do something soon and the dark tower does crumble then well everything that he knows will die he also sees that susan is in trouble but him and his two friends go ahead and go against the guys trying to steal oil why why does this matter? You see that your girlfriend is in trouble and you go after these other people. <laughs> you could go after at any time, but not go for your girlfriend who is in trouble right now. You make no sense to me, Roland. Go say goodbye to your girlfriend. He also sees in the glass ball that she is not in his future. He also sees that she is pregnant and he wants her to live a full life with a baby boy or girl or whatever. That she is pregnant with, obviously, from him. So they go to the oil rig, and they set off more fires, and the people at the oil rig attack them. And they are very close to the thinny, and the thinny has started to glow like a bright gray. And his two friends almost go into the thinny and die. But he stops them, and he helps them to get away from the thinny. The bad guys that were stealing the oil get closer and closer, and, well... They get eaten up by the thinny. And the thinny starts growing and going after Roland and his friends. And Roland and his friends, you know, just climb, get on their horses, and ride away as fast as they can. While this is going on, a woman, I believe it was the sheriff's wife, is actually helping Susan out of the pantry. But as she is doing that, they get attacked by Rhea, the decrepit old woman who feasted on her aunt's blood, well, now she's better. And she is convincing the crowd that Susan is evil and that Susan needs to die. And the crowd goes with the evil Wicked Witch. After Roland and his crew are away from danger, Roland decides that he needs to look into the crystal ball again to find out what's going to happen in the future. He pulls out the ball. He looks into the ball. And he sees Susan tied to a stake. And then we see Susan tied to a stake. And we see the crowd screaming for her death. And we see the dried leaves around the stake. And Roland watches and screams, no, 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 no. And his friends don't know what to do. And they try and take the ball away from him, but it's practically super glued or welded to his hands. And he watches the crowd burn his love alive. As she's screaming at the top of her lungs, I love thee, Roland. I told you you should have gone and said goodbye. I told you you should have gone for the frickin' woman in danger that you saw. That was a bonehead move, Roland. But I knew that she was going to die. Stephen King telegraphed the hell out of that. After... She burns alive. The glowing ball that Roland had in his hands pretty much dies. Like, the, the glowing pink just kind of dulls to a black. And Roland is just kind of lying there, motionless. And his friends are able to get the ball out of his hands, but the ball never glows again. And they are able to get Roland onto a horse, and they are trotting away from the city that destroyed, you know, their friend, because Roland doesn't speak for the rest of the story. It's a long time before he even moves, and when he does wake up, his friends realize that Roland isn't Roland anymore. The Roland that they knew is dead. Everything that they knew about this friend that they had is gone.
Yeah. That was Come Reap. In the next video, we will do the entirety of the final story of this book and finish it. I told you you should have said goodbye, Roland. Well, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell thingy so that you're notified when I put out new videos or click the like button to let me know that you liked it. Or leave me a comment letting me know how awful I am. I'm sure many of you are thinking that. I've been Elliot the Purple Ape Doofus. This has been Buddy Reads reminding you to watch your Jam Radius. And I will see you all in the final story of Wizard and Glass by Stephen King. Toodles! <laughs>